so ever since I was little, I was I always loved movies. I always loved going to the movie theater. I always loved like going with friends to the movies and stuff. So I've always wanted like a theater room. I worked as a manager at um, for projection for AMC theaters and even movie tavern for a couple years as well too. It's a dine-in theater aspect type of deal. And I wanted I just wanted to build one in my house. Like even when I was planning with my little brother when we were in middle school to try to move in together after we were done with college and jazz, you know, still bacheloring it up, which never happened. We wanted a movie room. And I never got the opportunity to actually execute that. Um, <clears throat> when we moved to Colorado for my first station, um, we had the opportunity to do so. We had a, really, had a nice half-finished basement, and um, which looked like this. That's the before, and through a couple Christmases and about two years or about a little more than two years time in Colorado, we had the opportunity to like actually put finally put it together. It took us a long time. We we're always dragging feet about it or whatever, but finally got the chance to get it done. Couldn't have gotten it done without help from my wife, Ashley, we also my best friend, Van. Um, and it came together really, really well. Just kind of wish I could have had more time to enjoy it a little bit more. We had a couple friends get together, get togethers, over for it, but it was awesome. Like, probably will never be able to do it again, but it was pretty sick. Check it out. Everything was done by us. Like, we didn't pay anybody to do anything. It was pretty sick. Yeah.
So we did everything for this. Um, we had some of the pieces down there already. We moved in with the, the love seed and the, um, the bar table in the back, um, all the memorabilia and stuff we had already. But the things we didn't have, um, we actually got the theater seats one Christmas from family. Can't thank you enough. Um, all those were totally Amazon. The love seat was actually like a hand me down, like you know, gift from a family friend back in Houston. But um, I had the Wampa back from my box lunch days, the Wampa rug, which is really cool. But we got the theater screen and the surround sound um, speakers for Christmas as well too. And we just pieced it together as we went along. Um, as far as that goes, we got the screen mounted. Um, <clears throat> which came from like Best Buy, same thing with the speaker system and the wiring. Um, we got the wiring covers as well too from Home Depot. And um, and then yeah, it's the hardest part was the painting. The room was all white, um, but they'd have a storage room at the front left by the screen itself that we painted as well too. But we took down the doors. The first thing I did myself was like paint the inside of the door and then the sides of the door. So it gave it a really, really nice blackout view to it. Painted. We went with um, um, a really, really dark, like navy blue. It's like a, um, I believe it was the color, just, just straight up navy blue. Um, and like there was actually like a dozen different types of navy blue. Just we went the traditional one. It's like two coats of it, really, really thick. It was nice and dark, but not black. So it'd be more pleasing with the lights on, and yet it's still dark enough with the lights on. And the blackout curtains for the inside of the French doors. It came just standard with the house itself. We got uh, fold down blackout screens that we cut to fit from, uh, from actually got those from Ikea, as a matter of fact, same thing with the storage unit that we put all of the, the wiring and like the, uh, the sound, like stereo system and the, um, the splitter and back there in the closet. We painted the ceiling, the walls, just to skip the trim, as well as the air conditioning duct to just give some like contrast on both sides with like two white runners down the ceiling. Took about two to three coats everywhere. My buddy Van helped out a lot with like the ceiling and all the painting, just helping us use the right technique because we were just going crazy with it. Not really good, you can see all the strokes, so we had to paint over a lot of that. But lots and lots and lots of coats of paint. Got to the paint store multiple times. But we painted the wiring covers as well too, so it was really just a nice, like sleek look to it. Uh, we put a hole in, in the upper wall in the closet so the wires go back seamlessly. And yeah, just put some, uh, framed some awesome movie posters that we collected the last couple of years. I still have other ones that are a little bit bigger, and then a couple pa um, <clears throat> paintings that I did not do that I either bought or got from friends that are just other movie buffs. Um, there's the four cool blueprint pictures in the back wall for Ghostbusters as well as these limited edition like um, the Hobbit um, and Unexpected Journey prints that I got with my buddy Brandon um, and IMAX when we got to, went to see it in theaters the day first day it came out so it's a huge movie buff we even have his and her lightsabers in the front of the room below the screen there's my Darth, my Darth Maul, Maul one that I got from years and years ago and the second one is my wife's that she put together at Disney World when she went there without me um but yeah, then the glass case is a cool, like, collective setup of the both of us from things from, like, River Band, Coyote and Cambria, and Star Wars, and cool things like that. So, um, yeah, just favorite room in the house by far. I love to watch hockey games down there. It's fun to play video games in whenever I do. But just mainly just awesome to, to lay down there with the dogs, eat dinner, have fun. Yeah, hopefully we get to do it again some year.